What is up guys and welcome back to Hollow Knight playthrough. This is part 8 I believe. My name is the Third Red Guy and thank you so much for joining with me. Today we're going to pick up where we left off last time here in the distant village and see what the heck is going on here. There's basically two things to do and this right here is the first one. We're going to go in this door. And as we come in here, look, we got some dudes. I am super tired. Thanks for suggesting. Your friends, sit and rest. Please sit and rest. What do you have to say? It's warm and safe. Sit and rest. Oh, wow. I must be super tired. Yeah, let's take a seat here. Oh. 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 Alrighty. Welp. It would appear that I have been betrayed. <laughs> and let's just wiggle our way out of this nest really quickly. Alright. We are now in the beast's den. Alright, now this area is a little bit of a maze. Uh, so we're going to take our time and make sure we navigate it correctly. There's something right down there. Yeah, let's go on down there. What's going on here? We got a hollow nest seal. We got some geo. That's good. Got some geo deposits. not mistaken, I kind of have to make like an S shape with my path. Could be wrong though. I, uh, I've definitely gotten lost in here before. It's, it's a little tight and there's, there's no map. It just tells you, oh, you're here at the beast end. Oh, cool. Thanks. Guy. Sorry, just I like hold my breath when I fight those guys because they're just a pain. Anything interesting down here? Isn't this where I was before? Yeah, it is. Okay, just opened up a path. A little shortcut. that that guy was there. Oh, he got two hits on me. I think that that's just going to connect me back to where I was before. That's not going to do that. That is going to be a nice hit. Is that a real grub? It's right here, right? Yeah, that was a real grub. Cool. Ouch. Not what I wanted. Okay, let's take you on now. Not what I wanted to do. So one shot from that guy, so we're not going to do that. Oh, but he's the only guy I can do. We're just going to be very careful. OK, 
Okay. Now he can hit me twice if I need him to. But we're not going to have to deal with that. Thank goodness. Okay, got ourselves a little geode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He takes eight hits. That's crazy, man. Oh, what is this? I've never seen this before. Huh. I've literally never seen that in all the time I've spent here. And boy have I spent some time here because I get lost. Alright, so there's the actual bench. Now you can see I'm in the distant village. But, um, I missed the direction that I need to go, which is somewhere up here. Because as you can see, when you look at the map, one of the dreamers is here. Okay, we're just gonna heal up real quick. Man, you are a punk, you know that? That's close, okay. Let's slow down here for a second. And just hit him once and call it good. All right, and hey, here we go. Here's one of the dreamers, which we just go ahead and smack with our dream nail. And here they are. And we're gonna go ahead and just slay them and then focus their energy into us. As you can see, at the black egg, we have released one of the seals. So we need to find two more of the dreamers to basically finish out the game. And uh, we know where they are. They're marked on our map. So if we just look here, we can see oh, one of them's somewhere right around there, kind of below green path. And then one of them is right there. Looks like above and near Soul Sanctum. But to get there, we've got to get certain upgrades and such that uh, we're going to find in other places. Okay, and let's just, oh, why are you back? Nope, I don't want to deal with that. Okay, there we go. Now we can come down here, we can see that all of them were fake. They were just bugs and stuff. Alrighty, and uh, that's it for the Distant Village area. The only other thing to do here is this. There's this punk. Oh, 
if she tries to take a smack at you. Yeah. No. Come on out here so I can get around you. Oh my gosh, you can hit them on top. That's a game changer, dude. You just keep shifting around over there while I heal. I could have done it over here. Okay, I'm fine. We're good. still in an area that we haven't discovered on the map where we're about to be like that that we've been here before it's just is it just like off or is this a different path that I haven't come from I guess it's just this is the path now okay no problem well, that was it down there. There was just that little weird person, and I think you can talk to them later. Oh, gosh. It's really going to make me one hit left. Stupid spike trap. There, screw that. I ain't... I ain't messing with that. Okay, and now that we have taken care of that dreamer, there's nothing else here at the village, I don't think. Oh, just an empty path there. Yep, that's it. And we can go ahead and head on out of here then. We've got that dreamer taken care of. Okay, I think what we're going to take care of next... We look at my map. I've got two things I can do. Now that I've got the crystal heart... Um, gosh, and that way connects to deep nest and there's a left path, but I don't have that yet. Now that I've got the crystal heart, I should be able to get through this area. And go to the left of green path. The other option, the one that I'm kind of leaning towards just because of the power that it gives me. I've got Kingdom's Edge. I'm thinking I'm actually going to head to the Ancient Basin. And so what I need to do to get that is I can either take this stag station anywhere. For instance, I can take it to King's Station and then just drop down. That's pretty fast. I, uh, I think I'll do that. I think we're just going to go to King Station and kind of go from there. We're going to take care of the Ancient Basin because the power-up I get from the Ancient Basin is definitely worth the trouble. So I'll see you guys in a minute when I get there. Alright, so we have made it here, more importantly to the tram station which, the in the Ancient Basin. So now we can call the tram here. And the tram is really nice because, A, it gives us the ability to fast travel in a horizontal fashion across the map. It also has a bench on it. So let's see, this one connects to the deep nest and then goes here and then there is a place that it goes to on the right as well. So let's check that out really quickly. Just to see if this benefits us at all. Where is this? Oh, this is over by Kingdom's Edge. This is like another way that you can enter there. In fact, right there is the entrance to the hive area. So I, and that's kind of like a, it's not a hidden area per se, gosh. But it's a an area that is not talked about. You don't need to go to it. It just, it has some good stuff though. Out of necessity. Alright, well, um, instead of doing Kingdoms Edge here, I think I am just going to head back to the Ancient Basin. So let's just head on back.
All right, here we are, Ancient Basin. Okay, and that is something I forget. You can d deposit Geo into it and eventually it gives you rewards, but I forget how much you have to put in for it to end up giving it to you. So it's better to kind of like save up and just do it all at once. All right, so we've got the Ancient Basin unlocked now. What we don't have is kind of the path in between. I'm not sure what map that's covered by. But Ancient Basin's not that bad. Basically, this enemy type that I'm fighting right now is kind of the only one in most of this map. I can't make my way up there yet. What's down? Ah, okay. Our pure vessel has ascended beyond lies the refuse and regret of its creation. So this is uh, this is an area I can't get to yet. We'll get to that later. Okay, we're just gonna head on in here. We've got a nice little bench that we can pay for, and trust me, we're going to want to pay for it, just in case this does not go as well as I hope it does. Pop a squat. Update our map. And as you can see, we've got something off to the left here, and we just got to zoom our way over here. It's quite far, and we've got this we can stop at halfway. And I'm actually going to go back, because I think I need to do some changing up of my charms. For instance, that isn't going to be, this isn't going to be useful to me. I would love to get myself probably like the quick nail, but I don't, I, can't, I have to buy that from the store, don't I? Am I anywhere near a stag station that I can make that work? Not really. Okay. So let's just change it up to where I get more from hits. We'll do the Shaman Stone. And um, I think we'll be good from there. So let's go ahead and fly on over. Got some nice spikes waiting for me there. Here we have, well, if we come down here, we got something else. I think we'll take care of this first. So keep in mind, oh, I need to make sure I collect all my geo right now because I turned that off. We've got a little nest of the Mall walk, mall works, or whatever these things are called. Uh, mall lurk. We've got a little nest down here. So that that boss that I first died to, like my first death in the game, I really wasn't supposed to get to it yet. As you can see, it's a pretty late game enemy. We can't really kill that guy. through this area really quickly. Get ourselves a simple key. So now I've got three of those because I haven't used any of them yet. Heal up really quickly while I've got my focus full. I'm gonna take more hits and let as well let the grub song do its work. 
And of course I get hit by one of the things after it's already dead. Just natural. That one's not too bad. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, now we got these guys to worry about. These guys will infinitely come, I believe. Now that we've unlocked this... There, we've cracked this door open, so we can come from the bench now. That's where we went down, this is now where we can go left. Alright, and this now gives us access to what we've been building up to down here. This is one of the most frustrating bosses for me. We'll see if I can get them on my first try. Is the broken vessel. And he's got these little guys that come out and fight him. He spews that radiant goop. And then he does this. Okay, that was a mistake. It should have only gotten that one in. Okay, and there we have it. We actually got him on our first try. Whew! Not too difficult, but I will tell you, he can be a lot more difficult. We're not going to worry about it now, but later when I come back here, I can do a dream on the Broken Vessel and do a dream fight, and it makes it so much harder. Like, it is regarded as one of the most difficult bosses in the game. It's super tough. Because he gets a lot quicker, and there are, like, no... There are no opportunities whatsoever to heal. All right. And that, my friends, is the last mobility upgrade. We've got the Monarch Wings, which acts as a little double jump for us. So now we can do this. And just like the dash, once we touch the ground, we get our double jump and our dash back. And as you can see, I can now use my dream nail on him to fight him. It takes you into his dream world, so it doesn't kick you to back to the bench, and I don't think it technically counts as a death. Because you don't physically die, leave your vessel, or anything like that. You just get kicked out of the dream. But uh, we're not doing it, because it's the worst. Dang it, that is not what I wanted to do. There we go. And we got an achievement for that, so that means that there is most likely quite a bit of money waiting for me back. Like, that. that's a milestone as far as grub recovery goes so I do need to go back to the grub 
I think it's the Grub Father. I need to go back to him and check it out and see if there's a big reward waiting for me. Let's just do this. And this will take us right back to our bench. Where we can take off this guy, put this back on, put him on our Gathering Swarm. And, uh, yeah, from here, we're done with Ancient Basin. That's really all that's here except for the Palace Grounds, which I can't do anything with yet. But this gives us access to the Stag Station there. So let's go do that really quickly. And uh, I'll see you guys in a second. All right. I quickly looked up and found out that I need to put 3,000. Drop all Geo. It's only going to take 3,000 of it when I do that, and that will give me a Vessel Fragment, so I'll do it. I've got a lot of money on me at the moment, so that's something I can afford to do. Let's head our way over here to the right now, and this is where we can now come to with the Double Jump. There's a lot of areas we can actually access now that we have Double Jump, pretty much the whole map. This is the Palace Grounds. This is where there was a palace at one point. And as you can see, there's a corpse with white armor here, glowing with the dream. But it's also protected. Like, I can't get into his head yet. And if we come over here... We've got ourselves the hidden station. I'll unlock this sucker. Got a bench on this side. I'll sit down real quick and... Just get that unlocked. Just like you guys, we're gonna ring that bell. What's up, man? He's like, you don't think about riding the tram, don't you do it, man. He didn't even know the Stagway traveled so deep. Alright, and from here we can pretty much get you know, anywhere. So I think we're gonna head back to Dirtmouth real quick and see if we can't buy any upgrades or buy one more, uh, whatchamacallit, buy another charm or something so we can go buy ourselves another notch soon. Let's check that out really quickly. What do you have to offer me? Yep, I can definitely buy it. Here's Heavy Blow. You'll send them farther back. We got Sprint Master. Hmm. I think we'll buy that just because it's the most expensive. And that because it's the second. Okay, and I have no Geo, but I can go trade in my uh, my idols and stuff that I've collected. And let's check her out real quick. Are you selling anything that would be <sighs> good to have? The Resting Grounds map. Apparently I missed him at the Resting Grounds. Cool. Something to mark the trees. And the Warrior Graves and the Trams. Okay, let's buy the Tram just because we've got enough Geo. We'll have to come back for those other two, but I'm not super concerned about the Dream Essence at the moment, so. Okay, and now, as you can see, something is a little bit different here in the well. It's now going orange. So if we come in here, you can see that the infection has now spread. So it is now the infected crossroads. And this has changed, like, all of the enemies that are here. For instance, these guys are the worst. They deal a lot of damage. They go fast, and then they explode. And, th and this is the only area that really changes because of an event in the game. It's just because, obviously, it's super easy, and you don't get, like, any Geo from here. So now the whole area is way more difficult. And this is a little place I can get into, if I can crack this open. There we go. I think I can come in here. Yep, and here is my dream tree for this area. Apparently those guys explode too. I've forgotten about that.
just gonna stand under a platform and heal up. Dang it, I did not want to do that. That's gonna restart the tree. And it might restart the health of the enemies in the area. Oh gosh, I got hit by something falling all the way from the top. Alright, well I'm just going to finish up this tree here, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, we've gotten it taken care of, and now what I'm going to do is do a little bit of work killing that boss that took my first life. And I believe that's through here. Yeah, see, this is something you would need the Mantis Claw for, and I decided to not. And that's what got me stuck in a place that I wasn't very happy, and then led me to a boss that made me even less happy. I think that's my escape. Okay, let's use all of our focus to heal up. And I don't imagine that this guy will be that tough. Not to me now, not with the health I've got, not with the... the Charms I've got, not with the sword I've got. I've upgraded it twice since I fought this guy. Before. Ouch. Yeah, okay. Not bad at all. <laughs> what does that give me is the question. Ah, oh, it gives me a mask fragment. Very nice. That is a reward that is still useful to me, so thank you. And this popped out right by corner for Cool, cool. Okay. So something that I think we should do now is we should probably go up to Green Path. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna head up to the grub guy first because he's probably gonna have some rewards for me, and at some point here he's gonna have one that I really look forward to. And I feel like we're kind of approaching on that, so we're gonna head up to him, see what rewards we're clock we can uh, cash in there, and uh, then we're gonna head to Green Path, and we're going to see if we can't get ourselves to the next area, which we should be able to. So what do you guys got for me, huh? I like to let him throw it all, and then collect it all, see how much I get. That's what I needed. Okay. He gave me a hollow nest seal. Okay, not exactly what I was expecting, but I know at some point he gives a pale ore, if I'm not mistaken, which I'm going to start needing more and more of those. I think I need to to do the next sword upgrade, so. Alright, a little disappointing for now. But we're making progress on that, and that's what's important. Okay, let's go ahead and come up here. So we can go to Dirtmouth. And uh, did he have... he had one more charm for me, did he not? He has one more, but I don't really want to get that. I think we're going to take this stag way into the... the the now infected crossroads. And we're going to go buy ourselves one more notch. Because we can. And I know that this place got changed, and that's one of the things that got changed. You can't access that path downward anymore. Which just cuts off like a whole area of the map. Makes it a little bit more difficult to navigate through here. So now we need to go le right here. And now those enemies are changed. Ouch, he hurts. We've got access to this tramway. 
That's something we can do too. What's right up here? Anything? Ouch. So I need to go down. And then if I go to the right here, I can unlock this tram. And what do you do, huh? Where do you take me? This one is going to take me just over to the resting grounds. Okay, and that's actually good. I wanted to head over there because I realized there's a stag station there that I didn't get. So we're going to get that taken care of. Let's really quickly first go get this notch because it should be just down here. Yep. Sit at the big fancy bench. What's up, girl? I'll take that. And how many more do I need to get? Six more? How many charms do I have? Okay. Got quite a few. Well, I've got one more notch now, so that's good. What do I want to throw on? I could, uh... I could take this off. And I could... That way I have I could do Soul Eater if I wanted and just get a bunch of soul. Or I could throw this on, get a longer nail. I feel like that's probably helpful. Let's do that. So no more thorns. And we've got this pathway up here we can get to now with our double jump. What's up, dude? The scenery is boring, huh? Well, figured you'd find this boring. This is a nice big lake. And actually, this is the reason why the City of Tears is raining. It's because of this lake. Okay, we got ourselves a rancid egg. Why not? this side I believe is access to the resting grounds yep that's right and from here we want to go up which we now have unlocked and uh, now all of these graves in the resting ground these are all boss fights that I can do in fact this guy is not very hard It's like, yeah, I can come down here and just heal, if I'm not mistaken. There you go, see? Some of them not too difficult. And then he'll come back and he'll say, ah, I can see now. And unfortunately, the easier ones like this don't give you nearly as much dream essence, but alas, I will take what I can get. That's a hundred. And um, if I come over this way, let me just unlock the little tram thing. Why does it say there's a stagway over here? This is not a stagway. Mm. 
This is a tram. That sign lies. Okay, and now we've got that unlocked. Just wanted to have that filled in on the map there. I can read his grave and it should say, Cursed are those who turn against the king. Yep, don't you dare do it. I've got the dreamer's graves. I don't really need to touch those. Here is a stagway I want to unlock. So now we've got the stagway open. This is where he would have, Cornifer would have been apparently. Alrighty. And um, that's some good progress for today. We've unlocked a good bit of the map and uh, we filled in places that we hadn't gotten the maps for yet so now what we're gonna do is take this stagway and we're gonna ride it to probably green path right there we'll make our way down and left through that pathway and then we're gonna come up probably to queen station head up through fog canyon and go left there maybe we'll just go manually around but we've got a whole other area to go there as well so we've got that to look forward to and uh, there is this path up here I'll, I'll remind you of, but we're not going to be able to use that for a while as well. We've got to get all the stag stations first. So we've got some good stuff to explore, good direction to go, and then we've got Fog Canyon, which we'll eventually get to. And we've got this whole Kingdom's Edge over here on the right that we have to explore so far. But otherwise, we've made really good progress going down. There's only one area down deeper than that stuff, so... Yeah, I'm excited to keep going with this game, though. I'm probably going to take a break for tonight as well because it's getting kind of late. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like to let me know you're enjoying the series. Leave any comments down below. I read all my comments. So it'd be love to hear if you're enjoying the series as well as if you have any other suggestions of other games we can play. And uh, last but certainly not least, make sure to subscribe and even ring that bell so you can keep up to date on my videos as they're coming out. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.